One time we were promised a great cake and it turned out it was a lie. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to our second attempt at 60 seconds. I'm gonna go for the apocalypse mode one more time, on hard, because fuck yeah. And this time I'm totally ready, totally ready. We're gonna be calm and cool and collected, and the 60 seconds is gonna gonna still go by fast, but we'll definitely take everything we need. Here we go. Grab fat daughter. Yes. Where's the shelter? God damn it. <laughs> oh, Ted, you need to grab faster than that. Come on. Come on. Um, this. And then we could get gas mask. And, uh, fucking wife. Come on, wife. Oh, we're doing great. Okay. Then we could go to that room and get sun. Come on, sun. Come on, soup. Water, I need you too. Oh my god. We could do one more. I want the gun. And then there was ammo in the kitchen. Okay, get it, get it. Come on, holy shit. Maybe we could go out one more time. But I ain't gonna risk it. No, sir, that would be a very short episode indeed. <laughs> family safe. Goodbye. I figured by saving the family we could scavenge more. And that's the first time I've ever saved my entire family. Family guy. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll ha barely have enough water for everyone. Yep. It's gonna suck, people. Some mornings we feel a bit hopeless. We need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. The army can't be far. Fuck, we didn't bring a map or a radio. God damn it! It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened today. Alright. Good. Nobody needs to eat, then. Ring, ring, there we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. So should someone go answer it? Yes. Go, Ted, go. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from the nearby town of Hill Valley. Oh, back to the future. <laughs> we had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they'll get back to us. What? What sort of information? We're gonna send people out some more, I suppose. We have plenty of different re relatives, but none of them in as much as Auntie Ida. She lives in the country. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Here's an interesting family story that an archaeologist will one day read and be like, What a bunch of bullshit. What the fuck is this? <laughs> and so we're left with no photos, no news, no happy thoughts. The world is just too cruel. I gotta give Ted a drink. Oh no. You're not Ted. <laughs> You're not Ted. Alright. So, uh, boy, get out there. We know very little about what's going on outside. It would be a good idea to find out more. Mmm, our radio could help us. Yeah. Yep, I realized that within seconds of getting in the shelter. <laughs> that I had fucked up supremely by grabbing the gun instead. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might not kill us. We're so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the waste and safe, is safe with us now. We were cautiously exploring the neighborhood when we got cornered by a scary-looking thug with a shotgun. The odds weren't in our favor until a crate fell right out of the sky and dropped on the bandit. Excellent timing, government aid! <laughs> a food drop? That's just what we needed. What'd they drop? Bread? Cheese? Meat? Chocolate? No. S tomato soup cans. Hooray. Someone forgot to fill the water crate with something to soften the fall. As a result, most of the bottles were shattered. Luckily, a few of them survived. That should be enough to keep us going for a bit. Every responsible and respectable family needs a first aid kit filled with some high-quality drugs. We were running short, so the opportunity to replenish them was something we were eagerly awaiting. We didn't just expect a medical container to fall on another scavenger's head. That was pre pretty traumatic. We might need some drugs to cope with the memory. We also got an axe. Oh, nice. Box, a box of axes intended for a colony of lumberjacks. Our supplies did not include a working radio. The problem was we weren't able to find one in any of the drop crates. Eventually, we encountered a box full of toasters. We spent some time tinkering with them using trial and error and ended up with a radio that occasionally works. We call that a win. 
Day 10. Timmy looks better. Less irradiated, anyways. <laughs> Talking to Dolores helped resolve some issues. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin slash shelter? Timmy was cured, but he needs to eat and... Everybody needs to drink except Mary Jane. And Timmy need food too. Yeah, we gotta get we gotta get back out there. You're healthy, girl. Go do things. Everything'll be just fine. I'm sure she'll be back relatively soon. Is that a penis penis horse on the wall? Penis donkey? <laughs> penis donkey, give it a ride. Uh Mary Jane went outside, Timmy's hungry. Everybody else is okay. Alright. Oh, wow, daughter. You don't look sick. Maybe you do. Why is your face that color? I think you're dirty. It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to cope with shelter life, but we can't lose hope. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again. Exploring the wasteland should begin in our backyard. Our street was a good place, plenty of well-stocked houses, a lot of neighbors we didn't like that could be robbed without hesitation. We decided to give it a shot. It appears Mr. Jenkins from down the road was brewing his own moonshine. We discovered a few bottles with labels that suggest a high percentage of alcohol, but the stuff tasted like water. So, we assume he failed? Or did he? <laughs> The debris formed a tunnel of sorts. At the end of the tunnel, there was a bright light. We were amazed. We were frightened. We were curious. We soon discovered the meaning of all this. Yep, it was a flashlight. Mary Jane is tired and needs food. Uh, here, water and food for everybody. Celebration! And Dad's gonna go. About to finish our dinner, if you can call it that, when we heard someone knocking on the door. It seems to be a trader who is very interested in ammunition. How about that? Well, I, I got some of that. Wonderful. I don't know if I'll need it for anything else, but, uh... Our visitor was happy to get some ammunition. In return, he offered us rations. It wasn't much, but better. something is always better than nothing. Oh my god, fuck, fuck the guy. Grab the gun and show him that you didn't sell him all the bullets. <laughs> Fucking... Ah! That sucks. Some friendly soul on the radio was talking about a supply pack she'd lost during the trip through our town. We immediately realized she must have driven through our street. We rushed out and got to the package before anyone else. Oh, fuck yeah. Two water, one soup, a Boy Scout magazine, a first aid kit, and some ammo. Aw, oh, that's so good. Okay, yeah, Dad's back so we can go get the crates. He got a map! Fuck yes! Too dangerous to go out with any protection, we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Little trip to the surface, we might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. The nuke did the most of the destructive work, but gasoline reserves under the nearby gas station blew up as well. All that was left was a crimpled cashier booth and the remains of several cars. Someone might have thought 60 seconds was enough for a gas refill and a quick getaway. They thought was they thought wrong. There was an abandoned truck in line for the gas pump. We immediately recognized the logo of the well-known company on its side. Yep, the Can Soup Company. Few bottles of water were scattered in the cashier's booth. None of the explosions damaged them, though it is funny how the pipe shadow somehow got burned in the wall. Wow. One of the cars had a map inside of it. After perusing the chart, we noticed the label which read, Hidden Time Machine Here. A big red X marks the spot. A deck of cards was laying outside the booth. After picking them up and counting them, the only thing missing were three sixes. Playable enough. <laughs> Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Alright. Yes, everybody gets food. Well done, family. We live another day. Ted is too weak for any expeditions. Is he sick? No, he's not sick. Wonderful. We'll send the boy out again. <laughs> we didn't think we'd get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but we were. Well, that's what we were offered by a man who knocked on the door today. Two cans of s food. We win, we get his two cans. We lose, we give him two of our cans. Are we going to do it? Yes. Must win. Lady Luck has smiled on us. We won a victorious game of war. The man wasn't too happy about it, but he delivered on his promise. The boy. The boy's going. You can do it, boy. We believe in you. Day 26. Mary Jane's feeling safe. Timmy went out into the wasteland. Nobody gets to eat. Today, music from the radio stopped, and we got a transmission from the army. We're almost halfway to the door when they start talking about evacuation. It turns out there's something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign they were alive somewhere in the area. 
The exact location was given in geographical coordinates. Yes! Yes! We lived long enough to see this event again. Hooray! Quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. All we left them a message in a bottle. Message in a bottle. Uh, everybody's feeling safe. That's wonderful. No food. Great. While Mary Jane was rummaging through a through our belongings, she found a single plant seed. We have no idea what kind of seed it is, but maybe it's the start of something great. If we're lucky, it might be an apple or a cherry tree, or even something edible. We need to use a bottle of water to plant it. How about that? Okay. Soil seeds, water, we'll see what happens in a few days' time. Let's just hope these seeds don't turn into some useless flower. Mary Jane seems optimistic enough. Everybody needs fucking water. Shit! Remember that time Mary Jane went out to scavenge supplies? When she got back, she had a wound on her forearm. Nothing serious, she claimed, but it looked like something had bitten her. Now the injury's looking much worse. We fear it may be infected. We have to clean it up. I'm sorry, daughter. We can't waste the first aid kit. I'm just gonna have to take your arm. Mary Jane got the wrong idea when we brandished the axe. <laughs> she tried to limp out of the bunker. Unfortunately, she was too slow, and we were able to explain our intentions before she ran off. Heating the axe's blade allowed us to clean the wound and stop it from festering. Now it's up to our immune system to fight off the infection. We had to break our axe to do it, but she's looking better today, so we're hopeful it was worth it. Everybody's thirsty. Fuck. I guess she's thirstiest. Uh-oh. Judging by the sound of gunfire and screams, it seems like a band of thugs is taking control of the area. Going out could be very risky. Well, I'm not gonna send the women. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! We need to go out. I'm gonna send send the man. If he doesn't die. Bandits are at the door, promising us the worst fate we can imagine if we don't let him in. It's time to make a stand or surrender. Fucking gun. Ooh, yeah. Uh, man is going outside. I guess the boy's not coming back. Oh, shit. Mom is dead. If only we had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration last night. When Mary Jane found out she's not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out of the shelter, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret, we'll regret this, and she's getting our, our water one way or the other. We're seriously terrified right now. The gas mask looks almost brand new. It's interesting that the scouting handbook sports instructions for gas mask repair. Oh well, who wants to try it first? Ted has returned safely from his voice to the surface. It may sound paranoid, but I think someone followed us. We used to go to this little store for groceries. They always had their windows open and a sign that stated, We assure you, we're open. <laughs> Clerk's reference. Lots of great references in here. We found some food left inside. Most of the food on the shelves was outdated and rotten. A lot of eggs were smashed on the floor. But guess what? Soup cans don't expire till 2015. Good for us. Plus four. Fuck yeah. Found a shelf with a big sign that read everything for 99 cents. The only thing left were bottles of water. Huh. Expensive. <laughs> Plus four. Well, we got a lot of fucking food. So, uh, go on and enjoy yourself there, guy. Tickling sensation woke us up. The roars is what got us out of bed. Turns out Mary Jane's plan is some sort of plant monster, and it's out for blood, brains, or whatever it chews on. We need to do something. Poison! Still alive. I don't know where the boy went. Bug spray offense is the best defense. Die, you mutant plant! Shh! Phew! That was pretty terrifying. We could probably stick to some soup cans instead of growing anything. The climate's definitely not suitable for any serious gardening. We are not alone. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food chain. Our gun blew up when we tried to shoot the thing. I used the axe to save my daughter who ran out of the shelter because she wasn't getting water. We're not lumberjacks! There are almost certainly bandits running around. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Ah. We didn't have any weapons left. We got we got banditoed to death. Real hard. We survived for 43 days. A little bit better. <laughs> Inching our way towards the finish line. Next time I hope I'll remember to bring the map and the radio before bandits are able to establish themselves. Oh, Timmy was captured by the bandits. God damn it. Anyways, this has been 60 seconds. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. 
I sincerely hope you will join us for the next time where hopefully we won't be captured or killed. <laughs> and just, I want to make it out of the shelter real bad. And if you did enjoy, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. Until the next time, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.